Hi, I'm Ian with Defender and welcome to our DVR menu navigation tutorial. The purpose of this section is to explain the navigation of the DVR menu, highlighting important options that will help you get the most out of your DVR. There are three ways to open the main menu on your DVR. The first is using a remote control and pressing menu. The second is moving your mouse to the bottom of the screen and pressing main menu icon when it appears. The last option is right clicking with your mouse and then going to the main menu icon at the bottom of the screen. The first option is display. Display contains settings for video output from the DVR. This allows for cameras to be named and other visual settings. You can also create privacy masks that block recording areas. For example, if you are a small business owner monitoring a safe, you can create a privacy mask to keep the code from being recorded. The next section, record, contains settings to enable and disable cameras. The main street tab are the settings for recorded video such as quality and frame rate. Schedule setup is located here and is necessary for motion activated recording. Using these settings will conserve your hard drive space as you will only be recording during the times you need to. The search settings allow you to easily locate previously recorded footage for playback. Event search will list all motion alerts and other pre-programmed events. Backup allows for specific video files to be shared to a USB drive. Log shows a history of all actions on the DVR including changes and events. The network option contains your DVR's IP address and other important network information. Substream allows you to change quality of your video feed over the internet as well as disable specific camera streams. DDNS settings allow you to connect without using an IP address. Email contains settings for emailing alerts such as motion detection. Mobile contains the settings for accessing your system on a smartphone. Please watch our networking videos for detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to network your DVR. The next section is motion. This contains settings for how your DVR reacts to motion alarms as well as controls the actions that the DVR takes when motion is detected. You may also set motion detection zones and sensitivity here as well. The next function we will explore is device. This option contains hard drive status information including memory and usage information. You can also reformat your hard drive and USB drive under this setting. And if you have a pan, tilt, and zoom camera, your controls are also located here. Here we have system. Date and time can be adjusted in this section, and it also contains language and video format settings. The Users tab allows management of the different users on your DVR, while Version shows system information such as which firmware and software versions currently running on your DVR. The final menu option is Advanced. Under this tab, you will find advanced functions such as restoring your DVR to default settings, rebooting, adding firmware, and more. That concludes menu navigation. For more information, we invite you to refer to your manual located on your mini disk, or you can download the manual from our website.